Hello everyone and welcome back to Boater Plays Something. We are playing The Outer Worlds, previously broadcast on The Citadel over at Insane Games TV. If you're interested in that channel, you can check it out in the description below. But in the meantime, let's play something. All that would be theft, so let's wander back out here. What other buildings have we got here? It's a beautiful morning! And I don't know any other words to this song. Uh, I was going to check what was in there, but okay. Hi, random deserter. Keep your wits about you, friend. Okay. Was hoping there'd be some uh, dialogue there. Uh, what do we got up here? That's locked. Oh. Oh my god. Come come on. I want to just open doors. I don't want to take anything, but I want to open doors where they don't want me to be. See if there's anything particularly interesting. Ammo. They know I'm up to something. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. So oh, somebody's got supplies? He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Hey, where are you? Standing next to Thomas? Oh, I was hoping I could turn that on. Yeah, workbench. Oh, uh, didn't see you there. Oh, was, that's uh, Thomas. Okay. Well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait. They didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. So I'll take that as a compliment. Um, I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. I've never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? I Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. What? Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Well, it's never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers in return for, well. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Well, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Uh, part one, I found it in the Community Center archives. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. 
I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Well, we're just gonna have to block that. Uh, oh, I got credits. Stacy got excited. I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. All right, workbench I'm not really concerned about right now. Let's keep checking buildings. Those are closed off. That's closed. See, like, closed is just like that. Locked is with red around it. Open is... <gasps> Excuse me, with blue. Would this be theft if I pick an apple up off the ground? No. I don't need it, though, so I'm not gonna, but, like... Keep your wits about you, friend. Okay. I could probably honestly just, like, find the regulator and steal it straight out. I'm not gonna... But I probably straight up could. Emerald Vale Botanical Lab, a space is choice property, personal files. Bypass. Adelaide McDevitt, first entry. May the eternal bless my first endeavor. It's been two days since I walked away from life at the Edgewater Cannery. Fortuitously, the old botanical labs are still operational. Mostly. The soil's sour. I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need some powerful fertilizer. I'm tired of having the taste of Seltuna li lingering on my tongue day in, day out. I want something fresh. Something that goes out of the earth. We found another worker from Edgewater. Ex-worker now. Desertion rates must be climbing. I'm not terribly surprised. Reed style of management has always been tyrannical. I imagine an exodus is brewing. At any rate, the worker was in a sorry state. Fever, shallow breathing, delirious. Must have been plagued. I set him right with the diet of greens. He was all better in a couple weeks, physically, spiritually. He's one of our flock now. Experimental notes. I am hereby repurposing this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the soulless automaton of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spacey's Choice products, it is cheap and unreliable. I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. I realized I was using my, for some reason, standard southern voice for the first ones, and I'm, that's not really Adelaide. So I'm going to try it a little better here. We'll see. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understand the horticulturists failed to produce a single viable crop. Something about the soil being too poor. I am determined to find a way. Made the eternal smile upon my endeavors. Flora are living things, as sensitive to their environment as any breathing, thinking body. I contend that the crops in this region failed because the corporate scientists tending to them are cold, Heartless, inhumane people acting on behalf of a sterile and inhumane power. One cannot expect your crops to flush with green and reach for the sky under these conditions. The soil is sour, it's true. I don't know quite how to explain that. I'm sure the scienticians will say something about biology or the carbon cycle. But I can conclude... After months of my own experimentation, that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention, compassion, and a natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as nature intended. They're making a lot out of the fertilizer, and I'm honestly a little worried about it. Is it made of people? She's too saccharine for it to be just straight up. Can't quite read that. Bones and gears don't mix. Worker injuries affect our bottom line. Use caution when operating heavy machinery. Only you can protect fourth quarter profits. All this would be theft. Yeah. Wait, what? Pick up gold teeth. Hold up. Hold up. 
The fertilizer is dead, people. Because there was there was the guy that had the gold teeth. Oh god, that is not something I remember from my last playthrough. Ah! Okay, I'm freaking out a little. I'm gonna get whacked. I'm gonna get killed back here. Is this the power regulator? Oh god, I'm- ooh, my heart's going. I saw the gold teeth and I was like, wait, what? Oh no! What's this? Zoe's journal, page 12. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake, because I've always hated the cannery, and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh, wow, I did hate the veil once, did I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Okay, I got sick, and I grabbed a little too much adrenaline. time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of adrenaline time, and suddenly you're committing larceny. Alright, so this is Zoe's place. Oh, steel poster. I don't, I don't need to steal the poster. Zoe's journal, page 22. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spike as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I got some spare cans of Saltuna. She'll last me a couple weeks of our ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. Oh, this is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of Marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. Alright, is there... Are there any other... Like, she arrives, and then she leaves. It was a week? Like, that was... Page 12. Then this is ten days later. Why are they so worried about her? Like, she came in, she got better, she pieced the F out. You oh, hi. We got canid ribs. Canid flank. Canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? Um, I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Wait, was she acting strange before she left? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Oh, God, no. So what happened when she left? I'm trying to find Zoe her. Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned As up. is our I custom. Around, she was nowhere to be found. Tell me a little bit about her. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Oh no. What was it gonna be? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Is there any chance you can lend me that copy? Not much of a chance, no. Mind if I ask why you're interested? Because it sounds badass. Also, she's living with marauders nearby. I need something to tempt her back and kind of dangle in front of her and be like, Hey, girl! Zoe's living with marauders? Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe'd come up with. Oh yeah, you two are close. Yeah, could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of The Masked Marketeer. It's a collector's edition after all.
I mean, honey, seriously, look at me. Do I look like I give a shit about your silly little show? Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words... I 100% did. <laughs> Latest copy of The Masked Marketeer. Tell Zoe we're all waiting on her. Masked Marketeer, episode 38. So what are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Um, okay, so buy Fiverr, bunch of stuff, what's, primal leather, thick strip of leather from a primal, okay, um, sell, sell all junk, how are we doing on weight, 60 out of 110, um, guns and stuff, Let's see, we can sell an assault rifle. Um, damage rating. Yeah, I figured these are kind of low, so we'll sell both of those. Um, armor is basically the same as what we had before. Repair, because we got some cash, right? Yeah, just repair and stuff. Alright. Let's have a look around. A little bit of a looky-loo. But anything I take here would be stealing as well. Just looking around. Getting experience for opening stuff. Alright, let's go back to Zoe again. I like being able to voluntarily put my gun away. Like, I'm in a civilized area. Let me keep that aside instead of just pointing it at everyone that I talk to. Come on, why you gotta be so far away? You! Ever consider the Marauder life? It's pretty sweet. Uh, Stefan told me about your favorite cereal. So you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? I am impressed. Yeah, he said he wanted to watch this with you. I see what's going on here. I'm being bribed. Well, it's working. I can't say no to my favorite cereal. And she'll just run away again I tomorrow. I can't say no to I my suppose. favorite cereal either. Gracious Fruit Loops is the best. Me. So I've got that to look just kidding, it's to. Apple Jacks. Uh, are you actually going to start walking back? Look, I already bought what you were selling me. Just give me some time to gather up. Okay, I'm going to run there, and there's absolutely no way that you get there in front of me. But she's still going to be like, oh my god, you brought Zoe back. You're the best. I'm going to be like, how the hell? What is it? Oh, I get to tell her she's coming back. Well, we that's nice. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? That's her business. Something about wanting to be an outlaw, honestly, it's pretty dumb and I'd rather not get into it. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Okay, so now... Geothermal Master Control Terminal. Um, let's see here. The Frightened Engineer. Find the three volumes. Her father, working shifts at the cannery. You found a mention when he took uh, into the cannery and left it in an unused office. Is that gonna... Alright, let's head back to the cannery, see if we can find these. Can I fast travel? God's sake.
Eh. Fast travel, Edgewater, please. Space use droids, taste the freedom. I like the prefab. It's very nice looking. Raising your melee weapon skills unlocks the ability to do power and sweep attacks. Okay. Um, something about copies of this journal left in the cannery. Let's see if we can take a look around without them getting too upset at me. Oh, so with the cannery, I have a particular image in mind of the place. And I just realized that I'm actually confusing it with something from We Happy Few. Like, there's... You know, a cannery or something. Excuse me. I have a picture there, so... Engineering Volume 2. How? 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 Hold up. How? Oh, it's up top, so it's on the other side. Oh, I got checked on the other side! Yeah, but down below... Alright, there's volume two. And the terminal. Parvati, get in here. Parvati, get in here! God... Yeah. Alright, screw it. Nobody cares when I use the terminal. Uh, from the office of Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. Yeah, okay. Hey, that horse shit. Clever. I uh, don't need to take any of that. Um, where is... The third. Mentioned her father reading when he was working shifts. Yeah, I got that. Into the cannery and in an unused office. Yes, okay. Where's the third? Yep, that's the cannery. All right. Steel kick me sign. Yoink. <laughs> That's a Stacy thing to do. I'm going to attach this to someone's back. Are there any other offices around here that might be holding a copy? Let's see. Gross. Absolutely gross. I'm never having Saltuna. I am never, ever, ever having Saltuna. What's on your mind? Something I about Eugene? Oh. Fees, didn't I? Let the oh. Dead sleep. So I found his teeth. You what? How? Please don't tell me you dug up his corpse. I mean, you would have done the same. You were planning on selling him. Hey now. I wasn't planning on eating the poor guy's remains. He wasn't going to use those teeth and... We could have sold them off to I wanted to talk I wanted to talk to the cemetery Look, guy first. This is going to sound weird. But let me guess. 
You want to buy the teeth. Only if it's not too much to ask. I'm not going to sell them. I'm not going to pawn them off. I'll just, I don't know, stick his teeth in an old Spacer's Choice can and leave him in his grave, where they belong. Um, no deal. I'll I'm think about it. Your mind. I gotta talk to Mr. Cemetery Guy because that is some creepy ass shit and I forgot that I wanted to talk to him about that and be like, yo, what the fuck? All right, um, where is he? I think he's out this way. Let's see, he's south, right? Or east? No. Definitely not east. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna... Well, I mean, if you all, like, There's don't have a lockdown cold. and you just keep wandering around and not wearing masks or anything, then the plague is never gonna go away. I live through 2020. I know how this works. <sighs> I would look forward to this game on an Xbox Series console for shorter loading times. The thing is, later games in the generation, just these loading times are so bad. Lovely to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Hey, there we go. Alice watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Sorry. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah, so we gotta talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? You want to tell me how I found his teeth? Well, you first. I know you buried him. Well, yeah. That's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? Well, you know those gold teeth that he had? I found them. Oh, law. Don't tell me. Marauders were serving his body as the centerpiece in their vile feasts. Did they stick a mock apple in his mouth? Um, what? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Look, just take his remains off my hands and put them where they deserve to be. That's oh, gross. That's uncommon kindly of you. I'll see Eugene's teeth return to their place of rest. Alright, we're gonna go talk to this gardener with her fertilizer that's actually people. I don't feel like doing another loading screen. Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed tailor filming. Oh my god. She don't know how to skip rocks or anything. That's amazing. Okay, um Do we still have something about teeth? No. Alright, that's all geothermal plant. So we're going to head back and we're going to talk to Adelaide about the teeth. Because I want to side with her. But we need to talk about the teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. And I don't know where the third part is. Maybe after the geothermal plant. Although I'd rather take care of it before the geothermal plant. Uh, honestly. Oh, that guy had stuff on him. I need medium ammo. Oh, sorry, I need heavy ammo. Stop giving me light ammo. I need heavy ammo. This is locked. Not for long. Scorched Journal. After sneaking parts out of the in industrial sector for a couple of days. Hey, let's give it a voice. I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. 
However, upon closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure all these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board would build their mechanicals with custom tool parts, right? Everything would have to be modular for all the mechanicals to run efficiently. I'll tool around with things for a bit and see what I can put together. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together. But I still don't have it down to an exact science. For instance, there's something wrong with the memory processing core I can't seem to sort out. When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing noise and refused to respond to any feedback. I removed it, whacked it with a wrench a few times, that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were working for a few seconds after I installed it again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds. The damn thing's right stabilizer won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processing core again and giving it a few more good whacks. That'll learn it. Yeah? How'd that go? Resident. Um, that plasma rifle, how good is it? Ugh, stop sorting stuff by name. Bolter pistol. Plasma rifle is just 71. Okay, no, I'm, I'm good. I've been upgrading this assault rifle along the way, so. That goes to geotherm. This way to the botanical gardens. Nice, heavy ammo. Adelaide! We have to talk about the teeth! Anything else I can do for you? Teeth! So do you want to tell me what these gold teeth are for? Haven't you ever seen a novelty paperweight? Minds me of, uh... Did you know your left eye twitches when you're trying to lie? Oh my god, that's adorable! Whatever absurd accusations you have churning about in your mind, I assure you, I have heard them all. Yeah, it reminds me of this guy I heard about. Someone named Eugene, who had gold teeth. I remember a Eugene. Pleasant enough boy. Whatever happened to him? Well, I never said anything happened to him. I did nothing wrong. The teeth were harvested from a body that went cold long before my tools ever touched it. Gold does not decompose. The teeth had to be removed. And while I am no licensed dentist, I should think I did a fair job of it. Yeah, so you're using decomposing bodies to fortify the soil and help your crops along. Yeah? I cannot tell you how refreshing it is to converse with a rational mind. That's exactly right. Rot is necessary for life. A corpse is bursting with the nutrients a young sapling craves. The crops I grow here are natural, nutritious, healthy. My garden does more than fill the bellies of my flock. It keeps them from falling ill. So you seem pretty calm for someone who just admitted to grinding up corpses for fertilizer. The Vale's barren. Been that way for years. Soil's been sterile about as long as I can remember. Yeah, but we're talking about people here? We are talking about organic compounds once inhabited by a sentient mind. A person lasts only until the last synapse burns out. The last brainwave flickers into the void. What remains is a carcass moldering neath the soil. Decomposition is a natural process, essential to new life. All life feeds on other Actually, life. I bet if we went to the graveyard, we'd see like more grass or something like that. So, um, you've been quiet, Parvati. Oh, I don't know. If it was me, I'd be glad to volunteer. Well, that's because you're a weirdo. If alive, that'd be a beautiful gift to leave. But none of the folk you used had a say. You didn't ask, ma'am. And what about my dad? I talk to his grave every Saturday. Is... is he even there? Robert is just where you left him, dear. 
He died too long ago. By now, he's not but a skeleton. I need to think about this. Whatever you say, my dear. Hooray! We leveled!